conversation today with Matthew Gilligan, the co-chair of Livable Seaville, joining us. Appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me, Steve. Uh, let's explain to the folks at home exactly what Liv Livable Seaville is and the mission you guys have. So we're an all-volunteer organization here in Charlottesville that advocates for better housing, land use, and transportation policies in the Charlottesville area, so mainly in the city, but a little bit in Albemarle County. We got going in 2021 as the city was thinking about its comprehensive plan, and uh, there was a lot of confusion and controversy. I think a lot of people would agree that Charlottesville has an affordable housing crisis. The question is, what are we going to do to solve that? And we saw a lot of people pushing back on some of the city's good ideas with the comprehensive plan. So we wanted to get the word out that there were good ideas there and to educate people, educate ourselves and try to advocate for better policies. So we like to educate. We like to collaborate with other groups. We are just a little entity, but we like to talk to other groups and get to learn what they're doing and get best practices out there. And then we like to advocate. We like to show up at meetings and speak. We like to write emails. We like to let other people know when they can show up and speak. And we found that that's been a pretty effective way to try and push the ball forward in Charlottesville. Nice. Uh, the city just completed its Seville Plans Together uh, process. What are some of the major accomplishments do you think came out of that? And uh, just as importantly, where does the city go from here? So really, it's a pretty historic accomplishment for Charlottesville. We hadn't rewritten our zoning code in over 30 years, and I think you could arguably say we hadn't written a good zoning code ever. Um, and so the Charlottesville really had some nice leadership from the city council and city staff saying, look, we have an affordable housing crisis. It often breaks along racial and class lines. A lot of people are being pushed out. A lot of people can't find housing here or they're paying too much for the housing they have. One thing we need to do is have a better zoning code. Um, and so major accomplishments is it lets more housing be built of more housing, more types of housing too. The old zoning code was predicated on a strategy that was very rooted in segregationist systems and strategies called R1 zoning. You can only build single family homes, which are the most expensive types of homes. Now you can build mother-in-law suites more easily. You can build a duplex, a triplex, something like that. There's also incentives to build homes for people who can't afford market rate homes. Um, some really cool programs with that, combined with some really great funding. Um, what are some of the ways that people can get involved with uh, the organization? Because it's not just housing. You guys are involved with transportation and a, a whole assortment of issues. Well, uh, we love bikes, and Bike Month is coming up. If you go on our website, livableseville.org, you'll see a link to an event almost every day in May happening. We're one of the co-sponsors of that. We also have a newsletter, and um, you can follow us on social media. All right. Appreciate you coming in. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you so it'll, much. It'll dry out, it. we're told. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Maggie.